sometimes uh, in 2019, President Muhammad Buhari graciously signed the Police Trust Fund Bill Act into law. And since then, uh, subsequently, the board was integrated. And for about 10 months now, they have not uh, started properly. So, uh, in isometric view, this is the first budget they brought. Uh, after following the approval of the National Assembly to extend the capital aspect of the budget. So we, the same thing is applied, applicable to the police trust fund. We are approving only the capital aspect of the budget for up to 31st March, which we are expecting the 2021 budget estimate for the trust fund to come before the both chambers of the National Assembly. You may recall that the source of funding the trust fund is is the 0.5 percent of the revenue accruable to the federation account and other levies from companies doing business in Nigeria. So that's the source of the fund. So it's not a statutory allocation; it's a deduction from the revenue. Yes, sir. Um, looking at um, the performance so far, how uh, what is your assessment? That is why I say this is this is the first budget of the first one. So they are yet to start properly. So it is after this budget we will now assess what they have done so far with this eleven billion dollar that we approve for them as capital. From the trust fund. As penetration from the trust fund is to enhance the quality of the policy by observing the global best practices. And uh, all over the world, government alone cannot police its people. You need the private sector, you need the other components of the country to come together to provide security to uh, its citizens. It's a good thing, and good should be given to the government of the day. Our prayers is those that are settled with the responsibility to man the resources should be good fairly, should be balanced and ensure that our police are well trained, well equipped. We should have training and training so that they should be in tandem with their sister agencies outside the country. Thank you so much.